Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here with the first Too Good to Pass Up Tuesday, where we have deals that were just too good to pass up on dolls. So I have got a couple of Steffi Love dolls today. These are not just any Steffi Love dolls. These are pregnant Steffi Love dolls. So we have got our Steffi Love doll that's in the African skin tone. And we have got our um, basic Steffi Love. Now, I'd already picked up one of the Steffi Loves that was kind of like this. But this is Baby Surprise. So it could be a girl, it could be a boy, or it could be twins. We don't know. Um, whereas this one, we know it's just going to have one baby in there. I'm really kind of confused kind of intrigued to see if it's going to be a black baby or not. I hope it will. <laughs> um, but yeah, but this was a $5 doll. The baby surprise I picked up for $11 from TJ Maxx and the Steffi Love came from Dee Dee's. Dee Dee's is a great place to pick up Steffi because they have them all the time. Um, so we're going to take a look at our dolls today considering this is like $15 of doll and it was just too good to pass up. So for too good to pass up Tuesday, here we go. All right. Let's see. Oh, she's got a cute little dress on. We like this dress. That is a fun dress. got her out just like that. Nice thing about Steffi Love is they don't really do like a crazy um, crazy amount of packaging but it's very cool. She does have some sewn hair together here in the back. I'm not gonna worry about taking that out. So she does have really spindly legs and she's also got her pregnant tummy. So pregnant tummy literally just pops off and we have got our little collapsible baby that's a boy. He is actually anatomically correct. That's a little uh, terrifying. So we got a little baby boy to pop back on there and then we can pop the stomach back on make her pregnant again. She is wearing some sensible flat shoes. And let's look at the accessories that we get. So we get a bunch of things. Let's see. So we get a little um, tray for him to eat on. Got a little elephant. We get a little hat for the baby to wear. We get a little teething ring with an elephant. These are actually a lot cuter than the basic ones. A uh, little teddy bear that's blue. A little uh, bottle, like a self-feeding bottle. We got a little stuffed elephant, a little lovey. We've got another little toy, little shaker. Supposed to be rings on an elephant's trunk. We've got a pacifier that won't fit in the baby's mouth because the baby's mouth's not open. And we've got a swaddle for the baby. And then we've got a couple of baby utensils. So kind of weird to give us baby utensils for a newborn. Um, like they just eat. And the most horrifying part of these dolls are the stomachs that flip back around. Compared to um, pregnant Happy Family Midge, who just had a magnetic stomach, these have like a little crazy robotic cavity that you fit everything back into. Um, but I do kind of love that. My only problem is none of these dolls are ever articulated. Um, 
So it is a little bit of a bummer. We're gonna pop the baby right in there. Yep, just like that. And put the little hat on him, just like that. Very cute. I don't think he's, no, his mouth doesn't open. Yeah, okay. So most of these, the little baby's not actually gonna be able to use. Oh, I put him on backwards, that's why. Things feel a little weird. I was like, I thought there was more detail to this. Um, but these are actually pretty articulated babies. Like their necks move back and forth, their arms go up and down, their legs go up and down. Like, they're pretty good. So I would use these for a Barbie newborn. And now let's take a look at our other one. Again, Steffi Love. These are a little bit harder to find here in the States. They're usually in discount stores. Um, so let's see how this one looks. So she is in jeans and a little blousey top, and that's great. We love that. Now, Barbie also made a black midge for Happy Family. She is a lot more, she's a lot rarer than standard midge for some reason nowadays. Um, so I have never come across her. I do actually have a Happy Family Midge without her stomach or her baby, but very cute. So here are our little things that we get. So we get a pacifier, ball, baby blocks, little rattler thing, little train, bottle, uh, shaky thing, teething thing, and, uh, plate with food. So, very cool. So, and this one comes with a little, uh, a little swaddle that's attached to the mom's um, shirt. There is no, like, surprise value to this one. This is a really good quality fabric, though. And the same thing with her pants. They come up high enough to actually go over the stomach. They do have a little thread that's tying things up. And then we've got the same little baby in black. Very cute. So I'm very excited. I didn't know they made um, a black Steffi pregnant baby, or pregnant Barbie, or pregnant doll, sorry, Steffi is a brand all on its own. Ooh. This would be easier if I took the pants off, probably, yeah, much easier. Okay, there we go. All right, now she puts it back up. And then these are her shoes. She's wearing heels, not so sensibly. Um, and then we just kind of slide the baby into this um, little thing. You can disconnect it. It's just a couple of threads that are tied on there. It'd probably be easier to do it here from the back. Just um, like this. This one. 
And then we've got our little swaddle out. So, very cute, very easy. Um, we've already looked at the accessories that come with this doll when we reviewed the first Pregnant Steffi doll. But these two are very cute. They're slightly different face molds. We love that. The babies are the same. So we've got a white baby and a black baby. Uh, I'd love to see Asian Steffi. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah. So overall, I wish Barbie would bring back pregnant Barbie. Uh, even if they were just going to do a reproduction of Midge, that would be great. I kind of wish that had come out of the um, Barbie movie. But alas, I don't think they're going to do a repro of her, which is a little disappointing. But a fun fact is the director of Saltburn played Pregnant Midge in the Barbie movie. So, if you know, you know. <laughs> All right, y'all. So if y'all have any questions on these, let me know. What do you think of Too Good, pa Too Good to Pass Up Tuesdays, Raul? So if you have questions, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.